let's take a quick recap of what we have learned in third party dropship third party dropship is done when we retain as a company retain control over most of the scenario like billing taking the order but the delivery the actual delivery and fulfillment is done by a vendor the example that we have talked about is the philips case so philips is a company that focuses on let's say the philips medical division focuses on big medical equipment like you know the million dollar multi million dollar medical equipment like mri scanners pet scanners that kind of stuff now the hospital that's going to order it requires not just the big medical equipment and also it also requires the accessories that go with it like a bench glass shield many many different things now the focus of philips is you know the the manufacturing and r&d of that big medical equipment everything else philips might not be very interested in but their customer is so in cases like that there are two choices for philips philips could play the role of stocking all the accessories getting them from the respective vendors that manufacture them like the two tier three tier tertiary vendors that manufacture all these accessories store them and deliver them as part of the order that's one alternative the second alternative is instead of stocking them they could say i need these products to be delivered to this customer on this date the vendor will take care of this is typically done in cases where you know they don't need to go along with the main product it could be an accessory it could be a product that could be used at a later point in time stored somewhere like for example vials that are used in medicine need not be used right away so they need not go along with the main order they could go later and then just be stored in a locker somewhere and then they'll be used as and when required So that's one business use case where you could use third party dropship there are more examples for third party dropship like there is a sudden requirement and you don't have the stock and there's no time for you to get it into the stock and then package it and then send it back to the customer in that case you just order the vendor to directly send it to the customer so there are five steps in third party dropship right the customer places a sales order step number 1 Step number 2 is this sales order will be created by us in SAP in such a way that it triggers a PREC this PREC will be converted to a purchase order step number 2 and once that is done the purchase order will be delivered by the vendor directly to the customer and like i said this is transparent to the company meaning it's something that happens outside of SAP for us the vendor will take care of that and of course step number 4 is the vendor sends us a bill for the goods that he has delivered to the customer and that is the step right and finally once we know for sure that the customer has received the goods we can send them the invoice so the invoice will be sent over to the customer and the customer will pay us and that completes the process right so five steps in a third party transaction the key pieces of config is item category and schedule and category from an sd consultant's perspective these are the only things that you need to understand on top of that you also need to understand how the data flows all the way from the sales order to the purchase order and some of the data like the actual quantity that has been delivered back from the vendor invoice to the customer invoice because we can't invoice more than what has been delivered right and we only know what has been delivered based off of customers invoice because we don't even know the actual delivery that's made using this delivery which is happening totally outside of sap right so these are only source for the actual quantity that has been delivered and that's the reverse data that flows back from the purchase order to the sales order and sap automatically takes care of it you don't have to do anything on that 